Hey, God Feelers. Welcome to God Healing Tuesday. Let me know if you can hear me because I'm just trying something out with this headset here, if that works well or if there are any, any disturbances. Just type yes if you can hear me well or sound good or whatever in the, in the chat box. Yes, cool. Awesome. Thomas. Shortland, I'm not usually five minutes late. Don't say that. <laughs> I tried my best um, today. I need to change my location because my neighbor just turned on their drying machine and it's extremely lo loud. So I was wanting to prevent you from hearing the... <laughs> That's the reason. So, okay, cool. Awesome, guys. You're all here. So excited. So much to share and so many questions to answer. Now, I wanted to just start off with um, you know, like the last live Q&A was, I googled it, I mean, I had a look, it was on June 9th, so that's a month ago, and it's a long time, usually I do it twice per month, live Q&As, and yeah, so that, that I'm sorry for that one, I would like to know, um, before I dive into why this was the reason, and um, what's the new project that you might want to look at, if that's, an, uh, if that's a cool thing for you to to find out if you love those live chats, you probably like that too. Uh, before we do that, I just want to know, like, how are you feeling today? In one word, how are you feeling today? In one word, everybody who joins live right now, one word, me excited, by the way. Hot. <laughs> Hopeful. Great, Jill. Tired, gray. Fearful, Thomas. Happy, Harry. Fatima, happy as well. Positive, Skyler, could be better. It's 46, yeah, yeah. It's very hot, hot here as well in the, in the tropics. Positive, relaxed, stressed, relaxed. Cool, guys. All right, we have, a, we have a, a mix of things. Let me just, let me take you in, in my kitchen for one second. I got to change the microphone. This makes me crazy. It's too hot in my ears. All right. Okay. It's all happening. It's all happening. Raw and live. Peggy from the tropics sweating. So here we go. This is the external microphone, which I haven't used right now. Let's see if it works. It's just nicer to not have anything in my ears. That's why. Stick with me. We're going to get started very soon. All right. Now comes. Let's see if it works. Okay, how's the sound? Blah, 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 blah. Test again. It's all very improvised today, I'm sorry. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's enough. This remains on YouTube. Yes, Sebi, if you have to go to the toilet now or sleep because you're in Australia, it will stay here. It will remain on YouTube. Okay, so guys, um, thank you so much for engaging. Restless as well. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so I personally feel excited and the reason why is because you are all here and because I love doing what I'm doing right now with you um, and just answering questions and connecting with the, with the community. Um, one thing why I haven't been able to connect you know, more with you on the, on the Gut Feeder community on, on YouTube and I also haven't answered very many YouTube questions just because there was something else that was going on and um, yeah, and the reason why this is all happening is because I'm working long term on a project that will finally come to life right now, like literally now this week, and that's the Gut Feeler Academy. Now, the Gut Feeler Academy is my heights project so far, my biggest heights project besides the YouTube channel, of course, and the Gut Feeler Academy is there to help gut feelers to heal themselves from chronic illnesses and really trust their their body again by becoming their own health expert. So basically, this is all that I share with you here on the channel, but like in a group, in a small group where I do also group coaching, small group coaching um, with lots of one-on-one -on -one attention and a training which is structured. So the thing about YouTube is you can get information pretty fast, but you can't really get like a, you know, like a journey where you really guide it uh, along the way and you don't have this less intimate community um, 
where you can share your healing journey and your struggles and what went well and the recipe you tried out and all of that. So this is what the Gut Feeler Academy is all about. Um, I just thought like sharing that with you so you know that I'm not just sleeping the whole day and, you know, just not doing anything. Um, so that's the, that's the news. Now, cheers here. I'm having a tea. Uh, dandelion chai. I love that tea, by the way. With some a little bit of almond milk, just to make it nice in the afternoon. It's afternoon here. Okay, guys, I wanted to jump right into the chat with you. I'm already babbling for five minutes here. Now, there are some house rules, just because I noticed, like, in the last chats, um, there was a little bit of confusion, and I want to make this, like, a good opportunity for everybody on the gut feelings um, community to have um, the chance to get a question answered and to really make it a good experience for everybody. So, ways to stand out. Um, ways to stand out from the crowd with all these questions that are already coming in, haven't even asked anything yet. Um, number one is to um, use a certain format that I recommend, like if you want your question answered, use this format. I paste that in the chat box so you see that. And that's basically just putting three question marks before your question so it stands out. And that dis um, distinguishes it from just being a chat, you know, like, hi, I'm doing well, or hey, how you are doing? Have you used colloidal silver? You know, like things like that. So three questions and then your uh, three question marks and then your question. After that, way to stand out is to be a gut feeler, gut feelings member. You just, you saw Thomas, yeah, I was commenting on Thomas um, before Thomas. He is a gut feelings member. This is why he's green. And he also has the little gut feelings logo behind him. If, and we had a new gut feeler here, Jax Allen. Hey, welcome. Um, so this is another way to stand out from the crowd. And the way to join is just clicking the join button underneath the video. Then sec third way is to use the super chat and the sticker button, which is um, native to YouTube. YouTube gets a cut of that. And also I um, get a cut of that to be able to um, make more of these live Q&As for free for everybody to access. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jax. <laughs> okay. That's a way to stand out. Now, here are some things that I recommend not to do because um, I want this to make really a good experience for everybody. And I saw this in the last chats happening and we've got to do something about it because it's just not fair. Um, number one, and there are really just two things. Number one is spamming the chat box by just posting your question over and over and over and over again, the same question. So other people who just post their question once are less likely to be seen. That's spammy, guys. And the second one is to use like crazy amounts of emojis to stand out, like roses and hearts and whatever. Um, if you do that several times with the spamming, then I'm just gonna um, exclude you from the chat and you might be even excluded from further, um, from further um, engagement. So this is just because I, I'm super protective, you know, it's your precious time and I want to, to make sure that everybody gets a chance to, to ask a question. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Let's start. All right. Uh, Linda, any thoughts on burning mouth syndrome? B12. You want to think about B12. Um, big one. This is even medicine knows that, like universal medicine. Get a good, good B12 supplement and you can overdose it a little bit, like instead of one drop of full from the one that I recommend, you can do in the morning and in the evening. That should, um, that should be a good start. Um, you get that. No, don't just take any B12, please. Don't no pills and no, you know, not not absorbable stuff. And because especially if you already have an impaired stomach acid or you have gut problems, absorption problems, those B12 supplements they just don't work. The one that I recommend is from Global Healing Center, a B12, and it's also on my shop. So if you go on my website, which you can find down below um, in the um, in the description, peggyshomer.com slash shop that you should get the the b12 from global healing center awesome brand i love that brand with all my heart they produce some high quality products so that's a good that's a good start let me know if that helped andrea gilbert syndrome question above hmm. i'm not going to search your question now <laughs> wait a second 
please post your question again, uh, Andrea. I, I don't have time to, <laughs> to look at all the, the questions and find your question now. Okay. Uh, is it possible to heal SIBO without antimicrobials and just through diet, vegan um, and celery juice? Um, yes. Yeah, totally. I mean, I wouldn't say just diet. I would probably recommend two to three um, natural, just mineral vitamins. Um, but definitely you do not need antimicrobials. Um, like, I mean, you know, one thing is to use oregano oil. I have a video on that one. But... There's a big but. I see so many mistakes with all these hardcore, you know, even if it's natural, but oregano oil is really is so high concentrated. You know, it's not the same as you would eat the oregano plant. It's very, very antimicrobial, but you get die off symptoms like crazy and often you even kill like good gut bacteria. So, and SIBO really is not just in the gut. You know, traditional medicine tells you it's small intestinal, intestinal bacterial overgrowth, but there's more, there's much more to it. Because bacteria can travel up and down. You know, it cannot just travel down. This is what traditional medicine says, tells you. But bacteria can also uh, travel up. So the resistant bacteria that you have, uh, resistant strains of strep, if you watched any of my SIBO videos, that's also in the mouth, it's in the colon, it's everywhere. So a way to take care of that is definitely celery juice. You know, going crazy, celery juice. Maybe even if you do not have any huge detox symptoms and you feel like you can do it, do it before bed as well. Lots of hydration and watching the, the YouTube videos that I have. Um, zinc is really, really important for you if you have SIBO to help to restore the gut lining and um, yeah, just boost your immune system and fight off those nasty resistant strains of strep bacteria. Okay, hope that helps, Alexandra333. Free, free, free. Okay, Tayyabab Ali, love your show. What can be done about gallbladder polyps? Watch the video that I have on gallbladder stones. It's very, very similar. So um, in general, like that organ is not that complex. Don't have to worry about that. Important is you lots of vitamin C. Um, inflammation, where inflammation is, there start polyps. And, and polyps, they're really not you know, unless they, they are very, very big and they impair like the volume of the gallbladder, they are not like a huge problem. Um, but taking care of your gallbladder and your liver is always a good idea. I've got tons and tons and tons of videos. Just Google, uh, just YouTube, um, gut feelings and then gallbladder or gut feelings and liver. And you should get lots of information also works for the, the polyps. Okay. Uh, can I touch on DBT, uh, diabetes in CBDOS? I have a video on that one. I have a video on diabetes type 2. Um, watch that one. Um, this is a really, really important video, by the way. I'm not, I don't want to brag my own videos, but diabetes is so misunderstood. You know, don't eat fruits because they spike your blood sugar and then you need more insulin. It's the opposite. So make sure you watch that one. It's, 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 um, the same advice applies. Okay. Let me just look here for somebody pop down. Are you gonna kidding me? Neptune twin, uh, thank you for your, your super chat. Peggy, I ate four slices of pizza last night. Am I gonna die? I don't know. Apparently not, if you're still here, right? I don't understand that question. Are you talking about like cheating meals and feeling guilty right now? Um, the thing about pizza, Nothing against pizza. Pizza tastes amazing, looks good, Italiano. You know, I lived in Italy. This is all about pizza. Um, I think about that is this is the worst combination of food ever. And this is why it, it hits like your, your, your bliss point. You now, all those foods that are super, super stimulating for like addiction, they are also so addictive because they have like the worst combinations of food and they create a lot of inflammation and issues in the body. And the body get, gets addicted to this dopamine, serotonin, <laughs> Hi, you know, pizza, ah, pizza. The thing that you have, that you have gluten in the pizza usually. Um, so that's a carbohydrate. Then you have, uh, let's say you, this was not a vegan pizza. There was some meat on it, like salami or something like that. Then we have um, high protein, the cheese on top, fat, and all of that, you know, gluten and maybe pork and um, dairy products, they all feed pathogens. If you don't have, don't have any health struggles yet, then eating pizza, you probably 
wouldn't ask this question. Um, the thing about pathogens, pathogen feeding foods is that they stay in the system. I mean, feed the pathogens in the system up to 14 days. I don't have so many fingers, 14 days. Um, so that's the thing. If you eat the pizza now, it just fires back later on. Um, but I'm not gonna not gonna tell you anything about you know not making cheat meals and stuff. Um, okay. Oh, I love that question. Oh, I love that question, Paul McDonaldo. Thank you so much for that question. That will help a lot of people. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. How does my wife reduce menstrual pain? Ha! I can tell you. I show you. It's even better. Let's walk. This is funny. Interactive life, right? It's in my fridge. At least I thought it was. Okay, it's embarrassing. I had it here. Ha! There it is. It's in here. Ha, off we go. My favorite topic. My favorite topic. You don't know how many female friends I have that love me for that one. Not because I'm so smart, but because it just works. You know, I also just learned that. So, here's the thing. Here comes the secret remedy for menstrual pain, headaches, low stomach acid, inflammation in the body. Da, 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 da. The dirty, ugly root ginger. This thing is the strongest natural painkiller you can find in the plant kingdom. And it's stronger than any um, over-the-counter painkillers. And it's natural and it's good for your body. Um, so for your wife, Paul, she wants to do ginger dewing. I explain it in lots and lots of videos. If you um, YouTube um, gut feelings, ginger or gut feelings, um, ginger dewing or things like that, this is where I talk about it. Okay, so the way to do that is, you know, you take a piece of ginger, your thumb size, half your thumb size, peel, and she needs to dew it. And this five to 10 times per, per day. Sounds crazy, but if she has pain, she's going to do it and she's going to love you for the tip. The most important thing is when she has the peeled ginger ready, chew it on one side quickly. So it, because it's, it's hot, it's burning, you know, and then have your glass of water and immediately swallow the rest. But it needs to be chewed first so you break down the cells and the enzyme gets released, um, the enzyme gets released and everything um, starts working. Let me know if that helps. Okay, let's just jump a little bit up here. I missed a lot of you. Okay, Andrea finished uh, adding her question. Okay, I have Gilbert syndrome and on day five of your gut healing challenge, any tips to do differently? Uh, for everybody, Gilbert um, syndrome is um, officially an inherited condition from the liver um, where it cannot like, um, fully process things like bilirubin, which is a protein, uh, sorry, which is a, um, which is what makes the blood red, basically. So um, Andrea is asking if she needs to eat differently than the one week gut healing challenge, uh, which is one of my, my um, ebooks, where I share like a meal plan, what to do when you have gut struggles, how to eat recipes, all of that. Okay, let me just get back to this one. Okay. So, uh, Andrea, no, because the, the cool thing about the gut healing challenge is that is, it is already very, very liver friendly. Now, with Billy Rubin, um, the thing about this whole, you know, autoimmune genetic discussion is the reason why all these have that, all these fancy names like Gilbert syndrome and things like that is because medicine doesn't really understand that the body works in a whole, you know, for the body. Um, and for the for medicine, this is I studied medicine for four years. This is what I the baseline I got told was the body is a car. So liver, you know, liver doesn't work with with um, breaking down the the red um, the red color from from the blood cells. So there must be the issue in the liver, and you know, must be genetic because where is it coming from? Nobody tells you that it can be a, a toxic um, a toxin induced um, deficiency. And it can also has to do can also have to do with viruses. So Andrea, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the um, that the uh, the gut healing challenge don't work for you. Um, you want to definitely do B12 and zinc. This is super important for you. And you want to do a spirulina that is all linked in the gut healing challenge to draw out those toxins, anything you bring out, so you don't um, you don't have the liver to reabsorb toxins through the um, enterohepatic cycle, which is a cycle between the liver and the gut. Yeah, so really, really important to have spirulina every day. 
Okay, hope that answers the question. Sound of whisper, how long should I drink celery juice for GERD? I drank celery juice for a week, no improvement yet. Yeah, because this is not, okay, I love that. So the thing about all this natural stuff is, yeah, everything that I tell you, I mean, ginger is a little bit um, a, um, an exclusion because it works like in 30 minutes and you just have results. But even that, even here, and especially with celery juice, you have something called compound effect. Same in business. The more often you do it, the easier it gets for the body to release toxins and the more effective it becomes. So it's not enough to do that for a week if you have GERD. Now, you want to do the gut healing challenge like Andrea at least, and then you want to do celery juice at least for a month. But, but really, like the liver and what else you've been struggling on that has been going on for, for years. Just because your, your symptoms just start now or maybe five years ago doesn't mean that there was nothing happening before. When the body starts to produce symptoms is when the body is at its maximum capacity. So that doesn't mean, um, you know, nothing happened before and we're just all happy. Okay, hope that helps. Okay, let me ask, there was one. Wow. Okay, thank you, William. Wieland for your donation um, really helps with the channel. Um, before we are gonna continue, there's something that I wanted to recommend everybody here on YouTube. I mean, not everybody on YouTube, you guys, the gut feeler um, community, because it's for free and you can still register. And it's the, um, in case you haven't seen it yet, I did it already twice live and now it's gonna be the last chance to get in. And that's my masterclass, my free training masterclass. And it has to do with the gut feeler academy. So the masterclass um, is on, let me see, is on how to heal your gut troubles in 30 days without relying on meds, test results, or expert advice um, by using the gut feelings method. And this is really, this is the live training. You can join for free. If you can still register, it's going to be a small group. And the link is down below in the description and also in the comment section. I think I tried to post it everywhere. Um, you can sign up for that right now. It's going to be on Thursday, so not tomorrow, the day after, at 3 p.m., the same time as the live Q&A happens right now. And in that, I'm going to share with you um, my story. It's super personal. It's super emotional. I had people crying, like good tears, but still. I'm going to share my mistakes that I made because I made a ton of mistakes when I tried to heal myself since 15 years, from 15 years of uh, plus, actually, 15 years plus um, struggles, health struggles. I'm going to share those mistakes. And I'm also going to share the free, uh, free secrets with you. Number one is the biggest mistake that I made for years that kept me in this vicious cycle of struggling and how you can avoid it. That's the number one thing. And then second, we're going to talk about um, why drinking celery juice, celery juice and having the perfect diet is not enough to heal if you suffer from chronic health issues. Because everybody's talking about diet, but there are still people suffering, although they eat the medical medium, they drink the celery juice. And that's what we're going to talk about in secret number two. And secret number three is the one path to take to go from sick to healthy without feeling overwhelmed and without taking medication, having that crazy detox reactions. And that's the path that worked for me. So if you want to join that training, register. Uh, you can register right now downstairs, downstairs, you know, in the comments below. And in the description, it's peggyshomer.com slash masterclass. And you can get in for free as long as we have seats. When this, once the seats fill up, over. And in the end of that masterclass, it's, uh, I'm going to make you an offer that's totally up to you. You will get a lot of value even if you don't take me up and you don't want to join the Gut Feeler Academy. But if, you want, if you're interested in the Gut Feeler Academy, that is your last chance to get in for the, um, for the first group that I'm working with. Okay. Blah, 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 having some tea. Okay, let me know. So now we're gonna move on to the questions. Let's see. Okay, I'm just, hi Skylar, just joined, awesome, don't worry. Um, are soybean sprouts also a trigger food? Yes. Soybean sprouts are the last sprouts. Soybean sprouts are not officially the, the healing sprouts because soybean sprouts come from 
soybeans. And often they are genetically modified, they create inflammation and soy in general does not, is not a helpful food if you want to heal from chronic um, health issues because it's a trigger food, it feeds pathogens and it's often GMO. Even if you get, even if you go to your beloved um, organic store, it's right now where we are in the, in the um, develop, de development of um, foods, in the food industry, we cannot guarantee that it's not GMO anymore. Same with mice, with corn, corn, soy, peanuts, peanuts. That's another one you don't want to eat. Okay, hope that helped. I'm scrolling up now a little bit. What time of the day and how to use spirulina, moringa, barley grass juice powder, and licorice root, root powder? Hi, Amy. Tracy, could you have asked more <laughs> in one? Um, okay. So spirulina, moringa, barley grass juice powder, uh, and licorice root powder. So those are all awesome in a smoothie. Just put them in a smoothie in the morning. That's a, sorry, that's a good one. So you can get them all in. Um, if you have licorice root powder, yes. Okay, if you have a tincture, um, even the tincture can go in the smoothie sometimes. Usually tinctures work best on an empty stomach. This is the same with the B12 um, supplement that I just mentioned before. Works best if you put it under the, under the tongue and let it absorb a little bit because you have a lot of, um, you have a lot of blood vessels under the tongue. It's very um, high absorption and goes straight into the bloodstream and can support so yes, morning is good. Um, and then spirulina and moringa, all of this can be taken several times per day, you know, through the day with food, um, usually to just include it. It's a food, you know, it's not a supplement. None of those are supplements. They're just, you know, puree of a root, you know, licorice root is just a powder. Okay, hope that helps. Have you ever created, okay, Sean P., have you ever heard of master aminos, pre-digested amino acids, and what do you think of that? Bullshit. I think that's completely, that's a, a way to get money from you. It's a complete, this is like, with so many things, you don't know, you don't believe me how many things we get per email where people say like, yeah, what about this miracle method and this miracle um, master pre-digested enzyme thing? The body knows what to do, you know? It's not that you need this stuff. You, you can so supplement L-lysine, which is a natural amino acid, but then you wanna, you wanna really make sure that you support your body so it can absorb anything you eat. You know, you can just eat fruits and vegetables and legumes and all those healing foods. And by raising your stomach acid, by helping the liver to detox, um, the liver has a lot to do with um, protein synthesizing, synthesizing. So people who tell me, yeah, I eat, I eat low fat and low protein. I'm scared about my muscles. The best thing you can do is drink celery juice. It doesn't have pro, it doesn't have a lot of protein, but it helps the liver. So the liver produces its own protein. That's the best protein you can have. Okay. Getting all intense about this year. Um, I have low um, six, six, Mr. Six, six. <laughs> Um, I have low white blood cell count and low neutrophils since switching to plant-based. Usually lasts a week or two. It's been over six now. No improvements feel good otherwise. I have low white blood cell count and low neutrophils since switching to plant-based diet. Usually lasts a week. Or what do you mean with usually lasts a week or two? It's been over six now. No improvements. No improvements in what? This is like a very, you know, I have to ask a lot of questions to understand that question. Um, so white blood cells have a lot to do with the immune system. When the body is, so just to put that in perspective together with um, why, you know, why sometimes people have um, on the blood results, which really is just, you know, like this much what you can measure um, because the blood cells, the white blood cells are not just busy in the blood. You would think so, but they are also, um, you know, all the cells, they are swimming in the liquid. All these cells here, they are all like in your body, they are swimming in the liquid and there are, there are these immune cells active as well. So if somebody switches to a plant-based diet, um, to a healthy healing diet, and suddenly they start having, you know, like what you're describing, low white blood cells and neutrophils, neutrophils have 
all to do with the immune system. This is because the body uses that chance to help the body, to, to detox the liver, to, to fight off the pathogens. Um, you know, opening old, imagine like you have a house, you know, like this old house um, where you have all these boxes stored up everywhere and you usually don't go there to that house because um, you just live in your apartment in the city because that house is just so full of junk. Now, when you start eating a plant-based diet, what you basically do is you say to the body, okay, right, have two weeks, let's do it, you know, let's, let's do it and let's look at that house and get the boxes out. When you start getting those boxes out or like look at those boxes, this creates a lot of dust. You know, it creates a lot of um, issues at first, including including the uh, um, the white blood cells because they are so busy. Your immune system is busy then taking care of all those boxes. Let me know if that makes sense. Maybe my analogy was not the best, but I tried to explain. Let's see. Okay. Aneta Pika, make sure you use the um, format for the uh, for asking the question with three question marks in the front. If not, I can't answer your question. Okay, Fatima Al Balabi, nice name. Can I still take my allergy spray medicine antihistamine while doing your diet? Thank you. Um, you can, yeah, I did that in the beginning as well because I had allergies like crazy. Um, you can. Um, at some point, you don't need it anymore, and there are so many better things. I'm going to show you one. Then taking antihistamines, which just make you tired like crazy. It's here. Look at this. See what that is? Anybody guessing what this could be? A part, of a, a part that is a jar. I know that. What's in here? What's in here that helps with allergies like crazy that I'm going to recommend to Fatima right now? Tell me, tell me. Who wants to win a prize? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, Mila, you're a star. Nettle, this is it. This is exactly it, nettle powder. Atima, you want to bring in your body any type of, any type, any form of nettle, stinging nettle. This is the powder because I love that in the smoothie, it's super strengthening the immune system, natural antihistamine, and, uh, or you do nettle tea, nettle tincture. You find all of those um, also in my shop, peggyshirmer.com slash shop down below as well in the description. Um, so that's what you want to do. Um, that's going to help immensely, stronger than any antihistamines and better for the body. Um, another one is onions. Onions contain quercetin, which is a natural antihistamine. Also pineapple can help because pineapple contains bromelain. Bromelain is also a natural antihistamine and um, a antioxidant as well. Vitamin C, really, really key for you. Um, I need to get up again for the vitamin C. I'm not going to do that. A natural vitamin C, not just the, uh, the ascorbic acid, the white powder that looks like drugs, not that one. Um, and again, you find everything that I recommend, all the stuff that I love in the, uh, in the recommendation. It's not really a shop because I don't own any of those. Um, in peggyshirmer.com slash shop. Okay, hope that helps. Mm, I love nettle powder. Okay, moving on, moving on. Let's see. It's so cool to, to be with you guys. I know I can like just answer like this much of questions, but please know I'm so grateful for everybody who's here. And um, if you want to join the masterclass, I really, really look forward. It's very interactive, just like this fly. <laughs> it's very interactive and we're going to come together as a small group and um, yeah, you're going to learn a ton, a ton of the mistakes that I made. It's going to be very, it's very much about community and I've got amazing testimonials so far. Um, which I haven't put up somewhere because I just didn't have time. But I, they come in the emails that I sent, you know, as a PS. Okay, so if you want to join, click in the description and sign up, as long as it's open. It's going to happen this Thursday. Okay. William Wieland. Hi, Peggy. What's the cause of extreme physical reactions to supplement, herbs, seeds, probiotics? Love that question. Awesome question. This is one, by the way, this is something that we also cover in the masterclass. So, so, so uh, William, you want to join the masterclass. You're going to love secret number two. It's going to be awesome for you. But just short right now. Um, so extreme physical reactions. Um, like the thing about, the thing about, um, all this cleansing that nobody tells you is that you got to be a, when the body is su suffering from chronic illnesses and the body is already 
in a state of alertness. You know, if the liver is overburdened, maybe you have a lot of toxicity in the body, there's some mercury in the brain or flowing somewhere, you know, oxidizing. Um, what else could be? You know, shingles breaking out, you know, moving through a different stage. There's so much that could happen in the body. Maybe some stress on top, you know, coffee, some exhaustion of the adrenal glands. So there's a lot that can happen. And... Um, so the, uh, the extreme reactions where they come from is when the body is in a state of emergency. So for example, just giving you an example. So in the Gut Feeler Academy, um, we're going to move through six different, six different stages or six different modules, you could say. And those modules are really like phases. And the number one thing we start with is bringing the body out of, a, out of, the, uh, out of an emergency state. So for you, what, what I would recommend, if you react to everything, you know, have this high this huge sensitivity to, um, to supplements, to herbs, to anything cleansing. You know, this is because the body is already overwhelmed. So going like crazy on celery juice might not work for you. It didn't, it ha I have so many clients who can't do the B12, they can't do the zinc, they react to this, you know, headache, trembling, emergency room, everything, panic attacks, huge reactions. So one of the th things, I know it sounds like I'm just having, ginger all the time but ginger if you never try ginger you want to do ginger chewing because ginger is um one of those miracle now i use the word one of those miracle roots natural roots that are called adaptogens adaptogens are roots or herbs that are known for centuries mainly, mainly by the chinese and by the ayurvedic um traditions and adaptogens help the body out of this emergency state they help to balance the body one reason why this works is because it's so anti-inflammatory and it's a painkiller and it's a muscle relaxant. So it helps to, you know, allow the body to relax wherever you have, um, wherever you have these spasms. So some people, they say to me, oh, I can't do this and this. Oh, sorry. I can't do this and this and this food because um, internally they get like pain, they get cramping, they get headaches, they get uh, nausea, they get diarrhea, constipation, everything. Um, so anxiety is also a huge one. So what I would recommend is starting with, with the ginger, and then everything you do has to be slow. Um, what else can I recommend? Let me see. If you can do zinc, if you can do the zinc that I recommend from either from good state, let me get that, because this is important. Um, so there are two things, two types of zinc. Let's see. Yep. Two different types of zinc that I recommend, and there are really not many good stuff there. I hope this is not too annoying that I'm getting up all the time. I don't know how it looks at your end. Uh, just trying to be practical here. Um, so two thing, two types of zinc. Um, the, usually the reason why people can't do with supplements is because they're either too cleansing or they're full of toxins and, and um, fillers and everything that has just to do with making money from you and not with getting you healthy. So um, if you're very sensitive to supplements, I would recommend this zinc because this is a plant-based zinc. And it's very, like this from Global Heating Center, I already said to you that this is my favorite brand because they make it so bioavailable. You know, they have a lot of clients as well, they, um, like customers who deal with supplement sensitivities. And this is a clean supplement, doesn't contain alcohol. You'd never want it to have alcohol in the supplement because that's an emergency. Uh, this is the opposite of this. This creates more emergency in the body. So never alcohol in any tinctures. This uh, zinc from Global Healing Center right now is out of stock. So I can, um, that one is a natural zinc. It's liquid zinc sulfate, but it's very concentrated. So if you want to start right now and you can't get this because it's out of stock, because everybody buys it, <laughs> me included, <laughs> um, if you want to get this one, don't start with 10 drops. Start with two drops. Tight with two drops and move slowly. Okay, I'm talking a lot. Um, no coffee for you. Get the trigger foods out. You know, I talk about the trigger foods in all in a lot of videos, and that's the most important one. And when your body, you know, is not in this emergency state anymore, then you have like an entrance gate, and then you can start with all the good stuff, with a little bit of celery juice, with king up, um, you know, bring more healing foods in blueberries, spirulina, blah 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 blah. But first out of the emergency state for you, ginger chewing, if you can do the ginger five times per day, continuously, until you feel you can handle more.
Hope that helps. Let me know. Deborah Taylor, medical medium, says that there's no such thing as leaky gut and your body does not attack itself, but doctors who specialize in say differently. What do you believe? Well, I don't really believe. <laughs> I mean, you know, not in this way. Um, so I studied medicine. I know, ex I mean, I wouldn't say I know exactly what they are talking about, those experts. Um, definitely not. But the whole leaky gut thing has a lot to do with um, getting people on supplements, getting people... You know, just giving you another label because they don't know what they're doing. Um, leaky gut. So, the, and this is, by the way, um, doctors who would never say to you that you have leaky gut if you have like some bloating and some abdominal pain. They would never say that to you, traditional doctors. Because leaky gut, um, what traditional medicine says to leaky gut is um, a permeability of food and of, you know, anything that can travel from the gut into the, into the, into the, um, into the, um, you know, the open, the open stomach and the open, sorry, I don't have the words, abdomen. So um, that's the first thing. The, the whole leaky gut thing is like an alternative medicine thing. You know, this is a whole thing like, I don't want to name names right now from my colleagues, but okay. So the thing about leaky gut is that it has to do with ammonia, with a gas, with a gas. And this is not just for people who have the, the, um, the diagnosis of leaky gut, this might be also the case for William, for example, where I just talked about with the, with the emergency state. Um, because when food, when we eat food that is not properly broken down in the body, it starts to rot. It starts to rot in the gut. And this is what leaky gut is about. It's about um, food not being broken down, then putrefying in the gut. And then you have the smell, you know, the stinging smell that you, when you, that you have when you go into a pigsty. It's very, very... It's very intense and it's very aggressive. It's like the whole gut line inflames, you know, you get all pain and it produces a gas called ammonia. And this gas can travel. You know, this is not that your gut line is somehow ruptured or things like that, because that's a peritonitis. This is like if your gut, if your gut lining would let food particle through, you get like a huge inflammation and you, you are in the emergency room. So that's like that's official leaky gut. Okay, does it make sense? So it's much more about um, the chronic inflammation and ammonia traveling all, all everywhere. Also in the to the brain is where people get headaches and nerve inflammation and sensitivities because those nerve endings in the gut are very sensitive. And when there's ammonia, those inflame and they get more sensitive to whatever you do. Okay. Andrea, great, thanks. Okay, cool. Oh my God, so many questions. Okay, let's take a few more. Ah, uh, oh, Sarah is here as well. Woohoo! Hi, Sarah. Okay. Uh, Live twenty four K. Is eating blood type effective? Is eating by blood type effective? I don't think so. Like, I don't. Um, I mean, there are so many theories. There are so many theories. You know, you should eat raw meat or you should eat you shouldn't eat raw meat or you should just eat carbohydrates or whatever like this is not something that i'm um that i work with or that i recommend because i want people to understand that their body uh, first of all it's unique and second one the most important thing for us as gut feelers is to understand that we become your our own health expert and it's not just you know box you into another um give you another stamp you know a, A, B, zero, you know, what's your blood type? What's your, what did your mother eat? You know, what did our ancestors eat? Um, hi, what does the mosquito eat? No, don't kill me. I can't kill animals. Just, yeah, it was a bad. So um, I don't, I don't work with blood type diet. This is not something I recommend or um, I'm specializing in. Oh, I hope that answers the question. Uh Ingun just seeing this now. So how much ginger for ginger chewing, half your thumb size? So this is my thumb. So my size is like this for one go. And then you can repeat it up to 10 times per day without problems. Even if it's even it's burning in the mouth, but it's really good for the rest of your body. Okay. And remember, please, Ingun, uh, if you have another question, put the free question marks before. Okay. Raisa Sirbu. 
I'm positive to Streptococcus B. How can I heal? Um, yeah, we are. A lot of us have Streptococcus um, A, B, C, whatever. Um, the most important thing, if you have, um, you know, if you want to heal from chronic illness, whatever, whatever symptom you got, if or whatever stamp you got, SIBO or Candida or, um, you know, anxiety or whatever, you want to look at your diet. You want to reduce the stress and celery juice can help as well. And like just giving the body the right healing environment, making sure you don't eat dairy, you don't eat um, eggs, which are the biggest pathogen feeders on planet Earth and have a huge lobby behind them, by the way. Um, and if you ever look like just from a from a human compassion <laughs> experience, how what happens to the male little chicken when they are born uh, because they just get, you know, they just get killed if you are male. In the chicken world, you just get killed because you don't produce produce eggs. But that's a whole other other issue. If we just talk about your body and your how you feel, and it's not about you know the impact on on animal life, um, then even then, chicken are uh, chicken uh, eggs are hormone bombs. Even if you carry the chicken and raise the chicken yourself, it's still hormone because it contains the the new the new life. It's a hormone bomb, and hormones feed um, pathogens like Streptococcus. Um, corn, soy, eggs. I've got a, I've got videos about that. Um, you want to look for just put dairy in dairy gut feelings, and you get a lot of videos that can help you out. Okay, moving on. Um, Nappy TD, right side face break out from celery juice. Is it a liver issue? I celebrate that. Awesome. A skin breakouts after celery juice is always a, a cause to celebrate. I have something to celebrate. Let me see. It's here. You see this? These little, um, the little pimples coming here, and I have here one. And this is not because I was eating a lot of naughty foods. It's because I was eating better. I actually wanted to comment on that one, so thank you so much for um, Mappy TD for bringing that up because – this is this is a detox organ. You know, your skin is the largest external detox organ. The body uses that. It's good. It looks horrible, and people think like, "Oh, you're 13 again." But it's good. It's good. One one way to um, make that less is to have more things to um, to use the other detox organs more. So more breathing, breathing, singing, walking. Um, you want to move move the lymphatic system. One of the best best ways is to do rebounding. Um, on a rebounder, or this is what this is going to keep me my, we do it again, rebounding. I love that. So I wanted to show you because I'm traveling a lot and I don't have a rebounder. But what I have is this ugly mattress on the on floor. And you can do it there as well. You just put a mattress on the floor. It looks like that. Oh, are you still there? Good. <laughs> looks like that. This is rebounding. So I do that. I'm just going to check if you're still here. This thing still, yeah, cool. Um, so do that for 10 to 15 minutes in the morning. Helps helps to move the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system doesn't move actively. So you got to get into into action. Okay, guys, we've always been a week. Um, always been a week. Almost spent an hour here. Let me just um, a few more things. Poor chicks. Yeah, I know. Edster, welcome. Another gut feelings member. Hi, Peggy. What could be the reason for vomiting after taking Moringa powder or other green super powders? It's too much, too much for the body. I just, um, if you weren't there when I talked about um, the um, detox reactions from, what was his name? Oh God, so many question. William or Will? William, from William? Then make sure you do that now, um, after, this, after this ends. Gosh, sorry, I'm just scrolling through the chat. Okay, so if that's the case and you have vomiting, it's not the right thing to do. You know, never force the body. The body doesn't like to be forced. Um, slow, gentle, increase the zinc. That helps with um, the zinc. Yeah, or that zinc. Both zincs are awesome. You can't get this one, so I should hold that on. <laughs> Show my zinc. <laughs> um, that helps to um, stabilize the cell walls. You know, so you have less reactions, and it's also great for um, just supporting the whole um, immune system and the detox, um, detoxing, gentle detoxing. 
Um, so if, if that's, you know, if you get vomiting, don't take it because for the body it can be too much. Um, by, by the way, Moringa is amazing, but it's also high in protein. So as spirulina. So maybe it's the protein. It's impossible to say what makes it um, not right for you. But what I can say is when you trust your gut feelings and you just, um, you know, you do it slowly, you be gentle to your body. Because try, try and imagine like um, a child who's, you, you just walk out of your house and there's a, there's a child crying in the playground. She's just screaming and wah! And you come with your, um, with your, you know, with the best favorite toy or whatever. And this child is just screaming. This is how the body sometimes is. This is this emergency state I'm talking about. So you want to, the first way to, to access that child is to start just being there and listening and not putting too many, too much stuff on it. You know, like not the best toy. Look at this and look at this. And this child is just overwhelmed and screaming. So offering a hug, you know, a physical hug um, and just taking it slow, listening, um, yeah, and making sure you don't you don't go crazy. If you feel vomiting, not a good idea. Not it might be also, having said that, it might be also that the products you use are not good quality. This is like another one that I wanted to mention. So with moringa, moringa usually is not heavy pesticide treated, but other green juice powders, especially if they co contain chlorella, which is a whole other game than spirulina. Chlorella is not something you want to have in your body. It's like the clumsy little sister from spirulina. It takes the it doesn't hold on to, uh, to the toxins that it sponges up. So it takes the, it, it might absorb the, um, the mercury in somewhere in the brain, you know, in the bloodstream in the brain, and then it dumps it in the liver, you know, like it just lets it go, oops, off. And spirulina is really reliable. Chlorella is not, and chlorella is in a lot of these green super powders, a lot. And also a lot of those green super powders, they are super low China quality. Nothing against China, but when it comes to supplements, you don't want to put anything in your mouth from China. Nada. Zero. Um, so lowest quality, and then you, you, you pay a lot just because they mix it all together and shipped it to you. So I have just one green super powder that I recommend that I try out myself and I have in my fridge, actually. Um, that's a good one. And it's in the shop as well. <sighs> okay, guys, my head is already red, blue and red. I hope this helped. Um, thank you so much for everybody for joining. It's we've been an hour in, and make sure you join the masterclass. I can't just stretch it enough on Thursday. It's the same time as the live Q and A today started, and um, we're gonna we're gonna go so deep. It's good. I get so many amazing testimonials from people that really love this, and that um, just when you're struggling with chronic health issues, one of the number one things that I felt myself was I felt so alone. I felt like it's just me. Um, it's my fault, you know, I'm doing something wrong and I should be better because I see this chick on YouTube or I see the fancy lady on Instagram or that bodybuilder there on Facebook who's just drinking the celery juice and looks like, oh, she shows his muscles and feels so healthy. Well, this is not how it goes, you know, so the people who are really suffering, they're often in the background and not really seen. And the masterclass is exactly for for, for that, apart from that, I just share my mistakes that I make and you can learn from them so you don't have to make the same one. Okay, bless you. Thank you so much for joining. Um, it was a pleasure to be here and I hope you're going to have a lovely, what's tomorrow? Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, see you on Thursday. Bye guys. Link in the, in the um, comments.